hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to look over to the best way or the best method for making out the bootable usb drive or multi bootable usb drive so we have the softwares like balena and bentway so balena is basically used for making the bootable usb drives of any linux distribution so if you are installing the linux distribution on your pc or a laptop balena will be the best solution because as my experience says that Balena will works on almost every Linux distribution. It doesn't matter whether you are using the Windows or Linux because Balena runs on Windows as well as on the Linux. So while talking about the Bentoy, Bentoy is an amazing software that is used for making out the multi bootable USB drive of any Linux distribution as well as Bentoy also supports the Windows. We can we are just going to look over to the documentation of the Bentoy and the tested IOC images of the operating system on the official website of the Bentoy. So first let's begin with the Balena. So let me just go on to the Balena's official website balena.io. So when you first go to the website you can see that we have the download option for all operating system like if you want uh, installer for windows then you can simply click here and if you want the portable installer for windows then you can go with here and if you are on the mac then you can also have a download option so for the linux we have the app image which is a really amazing wave or the it's a kind of a container so app image container we called it as a app image container you can use it on almost every Linux distribution because the app image run on every Linux distribution it might have some dependencies you can install the dependencies using the desired package manager and if you are using the Red Hat based distro like Fedora or any other so you can use the RPM packages which is available here and if you are on the Debian based distro uh, we also get the dev packages for them as well so you can download it from here and i'm just going with the app image because i'm using the arch based distro so you can simply click on the download button and let's wait for download to be begin so you can see how that i have already downloaded and so you can download the polina like this so let me just cancel this and let's go for the download directory uh z into down so i am on the download directory so when we do the ls so you can see how that i have the Balena and dot zip. So we are going to unzip this archip. So you can see out that now we have to give the executable permission for the binary. So ch mode hyphen plus x Balena etchr dot app image. So we are ready to begin. So now insert your USB drive to your operating system and then you are begin to make the bootable usb drive so let me just insert my usb drive let me just split this uh, fdx hyphen l as you can see here i have the 3.7 gigs uh, which is uh, nearly the 4 gigs of usb drive so i don't have uh, any other usb drive so which have a uh, 32 gigs or 64 gigs of the uh, storage so i have only this one for demonstration purpose for this video so don't mind if you have the larger storage or the uh, larger storage of the usb drive so you can use them and i have already made this usb drive bootable by using the balena of other operating system i am going to reformat it so if you have just made the usb drive bootable don't forget to reformat the usb drive because that may corrupt your usb drive if you are making these bootable for another operating system from uh, for next time so let me just open with cfdx slash step slash stb so if you have the graphical utility then you can also use the graphical utility in order to uh, partition the disks so i am going to uh, delete the, all the spaces on this usb drive and we are just going to do something like let me just go for this and we are just going to delete this as well and we have the efi partition as well so let's delete this and we have the 3.8 gigs of size let's get the new size and that will be the primary and the type will be the linux and just write it and yes and we have successfully write the partition table now let's quit from here 
and let's do the abdix hyphen l so as you can see that we have got our usb drive so let me just exit from here and let's go for the dot slash balena hr dot app image when you first launch the program you might face the some kinds of errors related to the dependencies then don't forget to install the dependencies that require to run the app images so we have opened the balena successfully so here as, as you can see that we have the option for cloning the drive as well as we can also flash from the url so let me just cancel it we can also flash from the file so let's go for the flash from the file and let's select the iso image that is arch linux 2022 07 x8664.iso which is nearly the 800 mb and we are going to select the target the target will be our generic flex drive of 4 gigs and we are going to select this and select and flash and you have to give for the root password if you have not run it with the sudo privilege and you don't need to run it with the sudo privilege either and let's wait for a couple of minutes you can see our the estimated time as well so it will take some time and it will make your usb drive bootable so we're talking about the bootable usb drive of the linux distribution you can use the balena for almost every linux distribution so this works perfectly if you are installing the linux distribution on your operating system and i have already tell you about the testing the usb drive whether it's bootable or not you without rebooting also so you can check out my videos that is on my playlist And finally the flashing of an operating system has been completed and it's validating the usb drive so we have to check for sometimes in order to complete the validation and your usb drive will be ready and you can easily install out the operating system so and finally the flashing has been completed so usb drive is ready now let's test the usb drive so let me just close this and we are just going to use the QE uh, let me just first do the FDX FNL and our USB drive is and our USB drive is slash tips slash STB so we are just going to use the QEMU hyphen uh, our system will be the system x86 and 64 we got it x86 I've, uh, underscore 64 and we are just going to followed by the hyphen sda followed by the slash tip slash stb so now let's press the enter and uh, it's booting so we have successfully created the bootable usb drive of arch linux so like this we can use out the balena for creating out the usb drive so now let's move on to the bentoy it's pretty simple to use out the bentoy so uh, before using out the bentoy if you have not downloaded or installed the bentoy on your system then let's just go on to the bentoy official website uh, bentoy so here i got the official website and head over to the official website and let's go on the download tab and here uh, if you are on the windows you can use the bentoy windows.zip and if you are on the linux you can use out the linux so let me just simply press here and we are redirect to the release tab of the bentoy repository and we are just going to download this from the assets on the assets you can see out that we have the bentoy 1.0.78 linux.tar.gz so let me just download it and let me save this and let's wait for a couple of minutes and finally the download has been completed now let's just go on the downloads directory so here you can see how we have the uh, bento here so let me just unzip it using the tar hyphen 
x z f i think so went to a dot dot gz so we have successfully extracted so we got the directory as well so let us head over to the cd into pentoy 1.078 so let me just clear it uh, on the here you will get the uh, lots of utility like pentoy gui dot x86 and 64 you will also have option for the pentoy to web dot sh and you will also have a cli utility as well so we are going to use the pentoy to dix dot ss for creating out the dix and installing the pentoy on the dix and we are going to use the pentoy to web dot ss in order to customize the themes for the pentoy using the web interface so let's just first uh, use the pentoy to dix dot ss in order to install the pentoy on the dix so before that we are just uh, going to reformat our usb drive because we have uh, install the Arslinus using the Balena uh, on that USB drive earlier. Have Dix hyphen L. So, uh, oh, I have not installed insert the USB drive. So, let me just insert my USB drive. I have inserted it and let's just run F Dix hyphen L again. And we are just going to use the CF Dix slash followed by the dev slash STA. So, I think it's a STA. And we are just going to reformat these and delete it and we are just going to select the another partition and let me just delete this also and we are just going to create here a new partition with full size and that will be the primary and let's just write it and yes and save it and let's quit from here and we are done if you have a larger storage of usb drive then you can use it for creating out the multi bootable usb drive because once we install the bentoy on the usb drive then we don't need to reformat it or recreate the same usb drive for multiple iso image so it will create us the bentoy partition and we just only need to copy out the iso image to the bentoy partition in order to make out the bootable usb drive so let me just show you uh, when we just simply do the uh, sudo dot slash bentoy uh, to dix dot sh so remember that we have to run this utility with the sudo privilege because uh, this is a kind of a administrative tax so we are simply going to use the hyphen hyphen help for the other argument so you can see out there uh, we can uh, use the hyphen i uh, hyphen i arguments uh, in order to specify the installation and we can uh, use hyphen u for updating the pentway in a particular device and we can also list out the information using this also and and we can also specify whether to use the gpt partition style or mbr so default will be the mbr if you want to use the gpt then you can simply put the hyphen g uh, argument along with your command so let's just do sudo no, period slash bentway to dix dot ssh hyphen i if you want to disable your secure boot along with the bentway boot then you can also use the hyphen s for uh, disabling the secure boot and and basically we use the ventoy for creating out the multi bootable usb drive in order to test out the different iso image and operating system and if you are using this for uh, installing the operating system on different hardware then you can use out the hyphen n for the non-destructive installation and you can also use out the hyphen g for uh, partition style that means whether to use the mbr or GP gpt so by default it will use the mbr partition sim so you can change if you want so we are just going with the default installation and let's specify the device path that will be the slash step slash sta so let's just press the enter and let's continue to y it's asking us all the data on the dix will be lost so we have formatted earlier so we are just uh, safe to go now let's press the y and let's press the enter and it's writing some data to the usb drive so let's wait for a couple of minutes and we are done so we have successfully installed the bentoy on our usb drive and let me just show you how it looks so let me just check with my gui file manager i don't know whether i have gui file manager or not so i think i have pcman fm so let me just open with it and uh, here you can see out that we have the partition with the bentoy so if you want to change the level of this usb drive then you can also change the level of the usb drive so i forgot to tell you about that uh, let me just show you so sudo period forward slash pentway to dix dot ss hyphen hyphen help 
so we can use the iPhone capital L in order to specify the label of the USB drive so you can simply use the sudo period forward slash pentway to dix dot ss iphen i iphen l uh, distro test followed by the device path that will be the div slash sta i mess with the argument so we have to use the capital i so and we are done so let's continue this and yes and we have successfully installed the pentway to the usb drive with the new label let's go and check on the zio file manager and here you can see that we have the partition called distro test now we can simply copy the all the ioc image on this partition and this will make it bootable so you don't need to reformat the usb drive so we just only need to copy out the ioc image to this partition so let's copy some ioc image and i have some ioc image on my downloads directory i think so let's just find for the ioc image so i have a arch linux ioc image on my downloads directory let me just go for the another as well i think i have another also so find slash test type f the iphone name will be asterisk dot iso let me just go for it and i think there should be a other iso image on my system so i have a two iso image so i got it so let me just simply copy it to the my bento usb drive cp iphone rb and i'm just going to copy this to slash run slash media media slash followed by the username slash distro test we are just going to copy it there so let's wait for a couple of minutes if you have a gui file manager then you can simply copy it from your gui file manager as well i'm just uh, going through the command line here now let's copy the another one as well so cp hyphen rv slash op slash it's here so let me just copy and paste this to slash run slash media slash followed by the username and our drive name will be the distro so let me just simply paste it here and we're done and let's wait for a couple of minutes and we have successfully copied the iso image to the usb drive now let's just check the usb drive so we have a uh, usb drive inserted and we are just going to use the qemu so system will be the x86 uh, 64 and followed by the sda and followed by the slash tape slash sda and uh, So it's booting let's wait and boom we have successfully created the multi bootable usb drive using the bentway so let me just switch this to the another workspace and you can you will be able to see it properly so you can see out that uh, this will be shown when you will boot up from this usb drive so let me just uh, quit from here so like this you can use out the bentoy for creating out the multi bootable usb drive on linux as well as on windows so it's really easy to use the both of the softwares like balena and bentoy so if you got any problems then you can directly comment out in the comment section as well as you can also dm me so this must for today